my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, today we are probably fishing our last ice fishing trip of the year and we're with our good friend Jeff from WDH Geitzers up here in Monaco. Hey Jeff, tell us what we got going on here today. Uh, well today we got, we're, yeah like you said, it's getting to be that time of year. Uh, we do still have plenty of ice up here. It's very much still winter here in northern Wisconsin despite a little bit of rain and mist today. Is. But um, the fish are transitioning into that late ice pattern. Um, and we've got enough ice and good ice that we can get in one more show. Uh, most of our fish today are on mud flats. They'll be transitioning shallower. Uh, depends on the system. Here we'll be fishing mud today. And uh, yeah, hopefully some quality fish in our future. And we're basically we're fishing for panfish, right? Yep. Crappies, uh, bluegills, perch, yep. right? Our game fish season just closed. Okay. And so, yep, we'll be focusing on uh, perch, crappies, bluegills. You pretty much, you're a full-time guide. You yes, know what? And you guide all over the place. Yes, I do. Um, I run ice fishing trips full-time in the winter. Uh, in the spring, I run steelhead trips on the Great Lakes tributaries for okay. uh, spring run steelhead, rainbows. Yep. And then also uh, uh, panfish and multi-species, um, walleyes, pike, all that prior to our opener of muskie season. Uh, and then muskies are, are my predominant focus from our opener on Memorial Day weekend through about mid-October. And then I transition over to waterfall from the third week of October. You do the waterfall too, I sure huh? Do. Yes. I, that's very interesting. I'll tell you, boy, talk about being a diverse guide. You are definitely a diverse guide. You, let me ask you a little bit because I love the waterfall hunt real quick here. Is that where do you do most of your waterfall hunting? No, I run cast and blast trips in northern Wisconsin, and we okay. run a handful of those trips a year. Um, our, our season for that opens uh, always the last weekend of September. Um, and I'll, whatever books first, whether it's muskies or ducks, I run that for those couple weeks where those seasons overlap for us. Okay. And then I transition, I go down to Green Bay and I guide on the waters of Green Bay, Lake Michigan, um, seven days a week from about October 20th, give or take a day through season close, which is always the first Sunday in December. Wow, that's awesome. We might have to hook up with you and try some of that too. We might have to. Hey, today we've got a very interesting deal here. You told me about this guillotine product a long time ago, and I'll tell you something, I've seen a bunch of videos, you've told me a bunch of things about it, so we're actually gonna be filming some stuff with the guillotine today, huh? Yes, sir. Right. It's a really neat product. It's something that these guys have been working on, good friends of mine. Uh, they've been working on this for about three, four years now. Uh, and it's, we're ready to finally uh, put this out there, get it open to get it out to the uh, general public. Right. And I've been running one all season. I had a, I had one of the prototypes for the bulk, bulk of last season. Right. And uh, man, up until about two weeks ago, it was one of the only two production models that we had in the world. We had them at the ice show this year. Where sure. We did see you there, and um, it's going to be a great uh, great chance to show the folks what this product can do. You know, and what the product can do. A very interesting thing. I've heard several times that this product will actually outfish a human being more often than I'd care to admit. Wow, <laughs> now, so this is exciting. Hey, let's stay tuned. Let's see what happens today up here on our final ice trip of the year up here in Monaco and see how the guillotine does. Are you looking to catch the walleye of a lifetime? Then have Larry and company guide you to your trophy on the Bay of Green Bay and its surrounding tributaries. Whether it be the Peshtigo, the Menominee, the Oconto, or the Bay itself, our team has the knowledge and experience to hook you up with the fish of a lifetime on this world-class fishery. Book your trip for giant Green Bay walleyes today. Call Larry Smith Outdoors at 920-361-4996 for more information. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. 
designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon or trout and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. pretty simple you can have whatever bait you want on here I got a cast master on here with some red spikes you turn the unit on by hitting the red button the power button you can set your depth the depth finder but here I just got the Vexlar Vex, down. Vex yeah. down there now are these fish uh, suspended off the bottom or are they uh, tight to bottom yesterday they were anywhere from tight to bottom I'd say most of them we caught about three feet off the bottom okay so I'm going to set that there. So what we do, we always put a bobber stop on our line so we know, when you you know bit. where we want to, when we, after you catch a fish, you don't right. have to come back out here. And we always just put that into the spool so that if you fight a bigger fish, it doesn't move your bobber stop. Okay. And it's as simple as we have a little clasp on the tip of all these rods. You can use any rod. This is the trigger arm, so the line goes through there. It just lays in there, huh? Just lays in there. You got a silicone tip, okay. count, counter the weight here. Yup. And then there's 18 pre programmed jigging styles in there. Yeah. With, it, with this, I'm going to use our number 15. So, so they hit 1 5. Hit 1 5, and you hit program again. It says start fishing. It's going to start going. <laughs> That is so slick. And you can use any rod you got. I mean, we, you can see today we have a variety of different rods. Okay. Our uh, sticker on here has kind of recommendations for rods, but after a guy runs them for a while, you just feel it out, adjust this where you want. Basically, you want the clasp to be pretty vertical. So when a fish bites, what happens is there's a sensor here and here magnetic okay and it's gonna send a message to set the hook which will release the servo motor like that okay the fish be on there it goes back to return how heavy of bait can you put on there as far as how heavy a lure can you put on that as far as jigging can you put a big jig and rappella on there you can put a work? big jig and rappella on there big spoons big spoons and it comes with a weight system so you just add weight on this pedestal right okay. here. It's even then, got a light on it in the front too, huh? Yep, when it goes off, the light comes on for fishing at night. And then after you catch a fish, you hit reset. The just light goes evening. off and it'll start fishing again. I can't wait to see that work, right? Yeah, it kind of does everything. We have a pump system that goes in here. Obviously, we don't need it today. It's just to keep the hole from gonna freezing. Be 50 degrees open. Right. Or today, 50 degrees out. So the pump goes on, goes in the hole. It circulates water on a timer so we can keep the hole open. Nice crappie. There you go. Hold that one up. 
You know, Jeff, it's pretty typical for these crappies to be this size on these bodies of water up here, huh? Yeah, you know, you get into some quality fish and it's it's not uncommon to get on some nice fish. Sometimes you got to do some sorting, but sometimes you get lucky and get some nice ones too. So, right. Hey, no, it's been you know, very good, very much a quality day, bite today. When you're when you're looking at keeping fish, you know, you don't you like to let the bigger ones go and just yeah. keep the medium sized crappies and, and bluegills. Definitely, especially on, I mean, some lakes they just tend to run a little bigger and you end up keeping a little bit bigger fish than you might on a smaller, you know, more more sensitive system. But any of those real small lakes, it's real important to let those bigger fish go. Um, it really, really helps them from uh, from stunting. But um, yeah, the best eating ones, just like that. Just Good perfect. little 10 and a half, 11 incher. Perfect. Um, perfect eating size, for sure. Hey Jeff, you know, you guys up here in this area have got some of these experimental lakes going too, don't you? We do, yeah. Why don't you um, talk a little bit about that because down by us right now uh, in our area, we don't have that program going in. And tell, tell everybody what's going on and why they're doing that. Um, so basically what's going on right now is there's a long-term research program going on um, to see the effects of panfish harvest on size structure and population in lakes. And what they've done is they've isolated, they've selected a few lakes that based on their on the DNR's data, okay, um, or have been you know maybe over harvested. I guess for lack of a better term, there's a few right. more things that play into there. The ones that have received heavy harvest but had a, a good reputation for producing really quality panfish. Um, and there's a handful of those in these areas, in this area, and they're spread out throughout the state. Okay. Um, and they went to a couple different ones. There's uh, three or four different ones. A, a bag limit of uh, 15, where it's five bluegills, five perch, five crappies. I like or that. Or a cumulative bag limit of 10 of any. Um, and there's a couple other stipulations in there. It, it, it varies by water body, but uh, I agree. I like it. I would be happy to see it go to 10 or 15 fish statewide. And that's the way a lot of the lakes in Minnesota are. You know, a lot of people, you know, when I was a kid, it was 50. It was a 50 fish limit. Yep. Then it went down to 25. And I'll tell you, you know, I think with the amount of pressure that is on these bodies of water nowadays, and all the conveniences we have, you know, of fishing, that it's probably not a bad idea to knock some of them limits down to, you know, 10 or 15 fish. And that's plenty for a good meal. I agree 100%, especially these days where more and more people have GPS, more and more people have electronics, and stuff like the stunted crappie, or, or stunted, suspended crappies, yep. um, they really take a beating. They do. And you get a lot of guys, you know, and one person finds it, word travels very quickly, social media and stuff is that's as huge. big of a vector as well. I mean, it's it's a way that word gets out very quickly, and, you know, populations can suffer from it. Hey, you know what the worst thing is that could happen? If they go to a 10 or 15 fish limit, and all of a sudden the lakes are so full of fish, they raise the limit back to 25, right? I don't think that'd be, a heck, have, of a I don't think it's a, that'd be a heck of a problem to have, right? <laughs> That looks like a better fish too, huh? Wow. And the guillotine? Is that oh, look at that crappie. Got him? Ooh. Get him? Oh, nice job. Nice job. That is on the guillotine. Gotta love that. I've never seen you guys run so fast. Wow. Oh, yeah? Oh, I thought that was a natural slide. You didn't just fall. Right? That was a natural fish light. You saved the fish from going down the hole. All you guys did. Nice job. That stick that, strikes. Wow. That is rosy. nice. Yeah, look at that. And even in a tough bite. Wow. Now, why when they're hooked underneath the chin like that, how does that happen? I think a lot of times it happens on that negative bite. Okay. You know, they come up, they grab it, they swim up with it. Right. This set, and with that longer rod, and set in a dead stick mode. Right. It's still got a good piece of that fish. Boy, that's awesome, I'll tell that's you. That's a nice crappie. And on the guillotine. On the guillotine. On the guillotine. Gotta love that. Good job, Jeff. Big Snow Resorts, your destination for winter family fun in the north. Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all-new Lynch McQuanago dealership.
The brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilaw, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Oh, there you go. The hunter's got another fish. What do you got? Ooh, nice crappie. <laughs> there you go. Away for the, the night, huh? Fish fry? Yep. Are you cooking? Or somebody else cooking? Someone else. Oh, yeah? He's cleaning. You're cle oh, you're going to uh. clean him? That's fair. Nice job. Nice. Ooh, there you go. Boy, I'll tell you what, Jeff. Again, the guillotines are definitely getting hot. Yeah, for sure, man. We're jigging and we're catching a few, but they did definitely you, are producing us today. It's no a doubt. Tough bite. Hey, did you change the program on some of these? I noticed the last, you know, half hour we've been catching a lot more fish. So I didn't know if you changed the jigging technique or. Um, a few of them were running a handful of different ones. There's a couple yeah. of bluegill ones. There's a couple of ones that rise and jiggle as they rise with a pause. And yep. There's a couple that do the opposite, jiggle with a, uh, on the fall and pause at the bottom of the drop. Uh, we're running a mix, a healthy mix of both, but we did just make a run through and make sure our bait was fresh, make sure our presentations were clean, uh, especially when they're a little bit less, you know, east wind today. Not ideal conditions, but we're putting the herd on some fish. Yes, we are. You know, and you know, I think the interesting part about this product is that you would, I'm sure, a guy like you that fishes every day, little things make such a big difference, don't, don't they? Absolutely. And when you see the way that this machine is performing, with that bait, you know, it's amazing just a little bit of difference that it does in the way it stalls that bait out. What's your favorite part of all the guillotine? Um, you know, in my opinion, it's one, it's a good product that catches fish, but two, for a guy who's a really good fisherman or somebody that knows what they're doing, right? One, it makes it, it's good for people who don't do a lot of, of fishing. You still kind of have to know what you're doing setting, you know, you need to be on fish, right? Um, but for the people who are very adept fishermen, very experienced fishermen, very good fishermen, it's a force multiplier. Okay, you can take it. You can use this. You can bounce it from hole to hole. That's like cloning yourself. You're saying, <laughs> yeah, right? That's a, right? That's a good if way you to have it. three of these, and you can clone yourself. Oh, there's another, another one, one out there. right there. Right. Yeah. I never thought about you're that. You're absolutely job. right, and especially when you're fishing suspended fish over mud yep. or, or stuff where they're roving in pods like that, where they're not anchored tight to cover. It's really nice, and you just you know you get one on over here, and boom, you move your jigging rod. If you're right. out by yourself, and I've done this before, you know you're out by yourself running a unit or two with you, or running one in the shack right next to you, right um, on a real cold day. You know, say it's you know negative negative temperatures it, it's nice to have one jigging next to you but again like i said force multiplier and it really will help you stay on pods of fish that are moving in open water definitely makes a lot of sense and we're proving it today absolutely what do you got there Dude, nice and slow i'll move the gill thing you're going to turn a little bit towards dan Ooh. Holy cow! There is a tank right there. Now that is an absolutely giant gill right there. Oh, good job. I'll tell you what. You want to hold them up? Oh, that's a nice part. Nice job. Wow. The Wrangler man got a nice perch. You gotta <laughs> love that. I'll tell you what. Wow. 
the clean the Jane Ryder. The only guy out here that doesn't have some type of bibs on and waterproof <laughs> stuff. You got jeans on. I right? didn't prep real good on this trip. But he is our cook. Very yeah. valuable. And he did, oh, he did an awesome job. I'll wow, tell you what, that the elk perch is awesome. Perch. And that is a great <laughs> perch right there. Wow. Big old female there, huh? Yes, sir. Dump Which, that egg truck back, Art. Dump that egg truck back. I like that phrase. Back down the hole. Hey, we're in the kitchen with Shotgun Steve Schaefer. This is one of my winning girls, Ashley Reitz, that sent in a recipe for the show. And what are we making today? We're making Ashley's famous beans. Now, when you make it as famous, or everybody says they're famous? Mm-hmm. Well, that's the right answer. And you're what, Sheboygan Falls, home of the Falcons? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Falcons, is that what's going on? All right, walk me through this. We're gonna use our sterno again. I'm gonna cook up the meat and the bacon. This is your own pig, right? You raised it, you, you hollered suey to it and everything, and you raised it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this deer, your dad shot, this is one pound of ground venison, right? Mm -hmm. So this goes in, and this goes in at the same time? We're making it all at the same time? Yeah. Okay. And what are you going to do? I'm going to be putting the onions, ketchup, barbecue, molasses, chili powder, and then you're putting in the beans. I'm putting in the beans? Okay, because we have to strain the junk out of the beans, right? These ones we don't, but yeah. these ones we do. So I'm gonna start, as soon as that pan gets hot, it's getting hot, we'll start on that and then I'll run over and uh, do the beans Kay. while you do all your stuff. All right, look at that, Ashley. We got the bacon all ready, crispy. You're almost ready to, huh? Looks really good. It looks good. It even smells good. Your mm -hmm. dad, whoever smoked this, that's really good. Best part about it again, watch this. Ooh, that's good. All right, you take these. We'll start. What do you do? You usually rip them up, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to speed up the progress a little bit here. I'm going to pull them out. Ashley, I trust you. This does look pretty good. I can smell those molasses in there. Ooh, look at that bacon. Is that enough for us to mm -hmm. sample? All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Dig in. Oh, man, you're pushing me everywhere. Looks good. That's really good. I like that bacon crispiness mm -hmm. and the different beans. I never had those one beans. What were they again? The Butter beans. Butter beans. Yeah, those are really good. Folks, Ashley, Reitz, big winner, Sheboygan Falls Falcons. What are you gonna say to the man? Larry, please take me fishing. <laughs> Larry, you heard the little girl. She wants to go fishing. She probably out fishing, 29 and a half, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Ashley, for coming in. Thanks for entering the contest. Really good, folks. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply, we want to be your outdoor supplier. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it.
I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends over at Mike's Country Meats, the tastiest jerky on the planet. I'll tell you what, Jeff, you know what? You're talking before about lunar phases. Tell people, give us a tip on how the lunar phase works and why you follow that so closely. You know, it's one of the most basic things in any kind of fishing and it even applies to hunting and a lot of other things. It's, it's nothing really new, but it's something that you gotta pay attention to. Um, today coming out, you know, yesterday was some really nice conditions. The pre-fishing and stuff was good. Right. You know, put them on the spot, caught a lot of fish. They caught them, you know, at this time yesterday was good, but we had weather coming in at this time yesterday. Right. Today, get out here and we knew we had to be set up and ready. Moon was at 11.50. We had weather rolling in around noon, one o'clock. And we knew that once that stuff arrived, you can see now it's starting to drizzle. Um, and once that window slammed shut, we knew we'd be, it'd be an uphill battle. Right, We've had one sure. or two bites, but I mean, it was a really flur really a flurry. We caught a lot of fish, caught a lot of nice fish. Yes, we um, did. And, and the nicest and biggest fish that we caught were right around about five, 10 minutes either side of moon. Today it was moonrise, um, but it applies for moon set, moon rise, moon overhead, or moon underfoot. Uh, those are what we equate to your majors and minors. Right. And uh, and today, that was absolutely the key. If we had been just getting out here and getting set up now because this was the hot time yesterday, not knowing why it was the hot time, we'd be we'd be struggling. We'd be struggling big time. Hey, again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends at Mike's Country Meats. Are you going to give them some of that jerky? I'm going to give them all three of them. There he oh. is. Thank there you. There you go. I'll tell you what, I never thought I would ever get out fish by machine, but I certainly did today, and I think most of us did. The guillotine definitely outfished us. Very impressive. Hey, and I'll tell you what, Jeff, you know what? You've been fishing that guillotine for a while, so you told me about this a year ago. I never really believed you. Sorry about that, but I'm a true believer now. Hey, when people want to get a hold of you because you do so many different types of guide trips, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, the best way is uh, either you can find me on Facebook, social media, and shoot me a message through that, but my preferred way would be my cell phone. 920-639-6286, call or text, it'll be just fine. My website is wisconsinmuskyfishingguide.com, and I also wisconsinduckhunts.com is my other site. That's awesome, we appreciate it. And hey, we had an absolutely awesome time with all you guys, we thank you very much. And hey, if anybody's looking to buy some manure, I know a guy right here that has some for sale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I always say, just remember, what a great day to be alive. That's like the biggest crappie you've ever caught, huh? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Right? That's a giant. Wow, you got to be proud. I'm going to let this one go, just because I believe in catching and I would too, a trophy like okay. that, yeah. Alright, this other burger was yours, but since you're busy and there's no bacon on it, I'll eat it for you. Bye.